This video is about the Sigma family. So we have two models in the Sigma family. We have the Sigma 50 and the Sigma 25. These are cesium iodide scintillator based gamma detectors. Again, they're small, they're light. You can use them with just a USB. It comes with a USB and a TNI sheet and it also comes with a quick start user guide in the box. All of that is in the box and you get it. Really easy to use. You basically plug it in. You use it with our free K-Spect uh, software. If you want to do more advanced stuff, you can buy the multi-spect analysis software and you can get those uh, from our website. And when you plug it in, a little window will appear and it will identify the detector and then you will see the serial number and you just press OK. Give it a little while to settle. A minute or two will be fine once you've plugged it in. And then if you want to test a sample or use a source with it, you simply put the sample or the source in front of it Press acquire on the software and then you'll get a spectrum. To stop it, you just press stop. You can save the spectrum. And you can delete it. So both of the Sigma models have a resolution of less than 7.2%. Than if you need something with a slightly better resolution, then the GR1 family would probably be the better detector. But this is a slightly cheaper model for people who don't need as tight a resolution as the GR1. So the Sigma 25 has a 1 by 1 by 1 inch detector. And this unit is quite good for when you're in high flux environments because it has the smaller detector. But we have the Sigma 50 here, which has the two inch by one inch by one inch detector. And this detector is better because it has the bigger detector at testing samples with really low levels of radiation in it. So it just depends on what your needs are, depends on which model would be best for you.